It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be comparing mean and mad, which is mean absolute deviation. Here's our question today. We have a ship's captain that uses line plots to record the number of whales seen on morning and afternoon whale watch trips as shown. So whales seen on the morning trips and whales seen on the afternoon trips. Those are our two line plots. Based on the line plots, which of the following comparisons are true? And you're asked to select the two correct answers. So you have six answer choices here, which are comparing the mean number of whales and the mean absolute deviations between these two line plots. So I'm going to ask you to get busy finding mean and mad and comparing them. Go ahead and feel free to use a calculator, but pause the video now and come back when you have picked your two correct answers to check your work. Welcome back. So we have this problem that we want two of these correct answers. Okay, so we're looking for two. I noticed that the first three are all talking about the mean number of whales seen on the morning trips and they're comparing them to each other, and the second set of three are talking about mean absolute deviation. And amongst all of these, we're talking morning to afternoon. So we have morning and afternoon. So we have, we're gonna consider the first three first because they all compare the mean of the morning to the afternoon. And we can see that we have equal to less than, greater than, okay? So let's go ahead and understand that we're comparing the mean number and we want to know if the mean number in the morning is equal to greater than or less than the mean number in the afternoon. And we're going to do the same thing when we look at the mean absolute deviation. We're going to see if the morning is equal to greater than or less than the afternoon as we compare the mean absolute deviation or MAD. So let's separate this out. We're going to clear our screen. That was a lot of words. So first we're comparing the mean number. So when we talk about mean, to find the mean or the average, we're gonna add all the values in the data set, and then we're gonna divide that sum, which is the sum you get by adding the total number of data items in the set. So we're gonna look at whale seen in the morning first. So we need to add these together. So we need to understand how to read a line plot. So this data item right here represents five whales seen in, on this morning trip. Then six and six, seven, 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 eight, nine, nine, and 11. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there were 10 different whale watching trips in the morning taken. And this is the number of whales that was seen on each of those 10 trips. So we're going to add those together. So we're going to do 5 plus 6 and 6 is 12. 3 sevens is adding 21. 1 8. 2 nines is 18. And then we have this one data point of 11. So when we add those all up, we get 75. And then we had said there were 10 data points on here representing 10 different morning trips that went out to see whales. So we're going to take our sum of 75 and we're going to divide it by 10 and we're going to see that the mean or average number of whales seen on our morning trips was seven and a half whales. Now we want to find whales in the afternoon. We want to find the mean, how many whales were seen on average when we went out in the afternoon. So we can see that we have two sevens, three eights, two nines, and three tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're comparing the 10 morning trips that were taken to the 10 afternoon trips. So let's add these all up. Seven plus seven is 14. Three eights, three times eight is 24. Two nines is 18. And then our three tens is 30. So we can add this all up and we get 86. We're going to divide that sum by the total number of trips taken in the afternoon, which we said was 10. 86 divided by 10 is 8.6. So the average number of whales seen on the afternoon trips was 8.6. So we now can say that in the afternoon, our mean is 8.6, and in the morning, our mean is 7.5. 
So the average number of whales or the mean number of whales seen on morning trips is less than the mean number of whales seen in the afternoon trips. So we're going to select the less than option. So we're going to go back up here and that is answer choice C. The mean number of whales seen on morning trips is less than the mean number of whales seen in the afternoon. Now let's go ahead and clear our screen and we're going to find the mean absolute deviation. So to find the mean absolute deviation, I, students always seem get very scared with this. Let's show you a very easy way to organize your data. What we want to know is this big word deviation. How much does each data point deviate from the mean? Because we want to know, does the mean really represent it? So is our data really variable, really spread out? Or is the mean a true reflection of the average number of whales? So let's go ahead and find out how to do this. Here's our steps. We're going to find the difference between each data item and the mean. And then we're going to find the mean of the differences. So we're going to find another average. So let's make a table. And we're going to bring forward, we said that the average whales seen in the morning trips was 7.5 and the average number of whales seen in the afternoon trips is 8.6. So let's make our table. We're going to start by putting all of our data in the first row. So where this came from is our 5, 6, 6, 3, 7s, our 8, we had two 9s, and an 11. So these, this is our data. These are the number of whales seen on our morning trips. Now in the second row, you want to put your mean, the average that we just found from our first part of the problem. Now we want to know the difference between, and it's the absolute difference. So seven and a half is two and a half from five. Seven and a half is one and a half from six. One and a half, it's a half away from seven. There's a difference of a half and a half. Then eight is also one half. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's over or under. Here we got 1.5. 1.5, and then we have our 3.5. So these are our differences, our absolute differences. So we're going to find the sum of all of these, 2.5 plus 1.5, 1.5, and we're going to add them all up, and we get that that total is 14. And we're going to divide that by the number of items in the data set, which was 10. 14 divided by 10 is 1.4. So 1.4 is our mean absolute deviation for whales seen on the morning trips. So what that tells me is that if my average number of whales was seven and a half, that I'm pretty sure I'm going to see approximately seven and a half whales because it only, the average only is deviating 1.4, meaning that it's either 1.4 less or 1.4 more. So if we look at that, here's seven and a half. So it's usually between six and nine. And we can see that most of our data is in here. We only have two data points outside of that. So plus or minus about one and a half from here, which makes sense. Now let's look at our mean absolute deviation for the afternoon. So we're gonna make another table. We're going to put all of our data points from our line plot on here. So 7, 7, 3, 8. So let's do that. 7, 7. Here's our 3, 8s, our 2, 9s, and our 3, 10s. In our second row, we're going to put our average that we found. So 8.6 goes all the way across. The third row is going to be the differences. So the difference between 7 and 8.6, 1.6, 1.6, 8 and 8.6 is 0.6. We have a couple of those to put in here. 9 to 8.6 is 0 0.4. And then 10 to 8.6 is 1.4. And finish it up. So now we want to add up that bottom row. 1.6 plus 1.6 and all the way down. And we get a sum of 10. And again, remember, we had 10 data points. So we're going to divide by 10. And 10 divided by 10 is 1. And you can see that 1 is less than this, meaning that this data was less variable. And if we look at that, that's true. So our average number of whales is 8.6, so right about here, right in the middle. And you can see that all of your data point is less spread out. 
It was more variable here. It deviated from the average more in the morning than it did in the afternoon. So we know that 1.4 is greater than 1. So our mean absolute deviation in the morning was greater than our mean absolute deviation of whale seen on the afternoon trips. And we can go back to our answer and we're going to pick answer choice E. So our two correct answers were C and E. Our mean was less than in the morning, was less than the mean on the afternoon, and our mean absolute deviation was greater in the morning than in the afternoon. So there you have it. That is how you compare and find mean and mad absolute deviation. So here, that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.